Hey Monk, just thought I'd let you know I'm gonna perform Skibbity Riz on your girl. Holy sh! Cohen, fucking relax. Is bro really gonna take my girl? God damn, I'm fucking petrified. Yeah, after looking at that, I'm not surprised that bro would take my girl with no second thought. What female could resist all the dankiness coming from this guy? <laughs> this guy's a fucking jokester. I can't wait to see how this guy responded to me. All right, everyone, welcome back. Today, TikTok's cringiest gamer on the entire planet actually responded to me. You might think that that's a clickbait title, but I'm seriously not joking. The all-time favorite on this channel, me, Cohen Lil, actually made a video about me. Now, for context, right, in my last TikTok's cringiest gamer video, I said this. If we get 1,500 likes on this video right now, I will no joke get a cameo from this guy and show it in the next Cohen video. And, uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say that we passed that goal. For those that are new, right, Cameo is pretty much just a website where you can pay people to make videos about you. And I'm not kidding, right? Today, I'm actually gonna buy a Cameo from Cohen and probably make him say some sh** that'll get him cancelled. Okay, so here we are on our favourite TikTokers account of all time, me, Cohen Lil. Here we go, bro. We got the Cameo link right here, so, uh, let's get this started. Book a personal video for $12. Okay, $12, that's honestly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Type of video request, um... Roast. Obviously, there's gonna be a roast. Who is this for? It's for myself, obviously. First name, Monk. Okay, instructions. So, um, now what are we gonna do here? Now, I spent about four to five minutes scripting out this cameo, and obviously, I don't want to show you what I wrote because that would spoil the surprise, wouldn't it? All right, bro, here we go. Cohen has received your request. Bro, I am so excited for this. So, while we wait for that cameo to come through, let's look at some regular Cohen TikToks to warm ourselves up. Just so we can revisit how cringe this motherfucker really is. He's with a bop. Motherfucker, can you please explain to me what on God's green earth you would define as a bop, Cohen? I swear this dude just makes up words as he goes. Half the shit he says in these videos probably isn't even in the dictionary. That was well sick, wasn't it, Cohen? God damn, I actually can't remember him being this bad. It's only been three weeks since my last Cohen video, but damn, I don't remember there being this much bullshit being in them. Cohen, please, for the love of everything that you and I stand for, just make this next video not make me want to die, please. Over here's some people talking crazy. Jesus fucking Christ, people talking crazy. Normally when you hear someone say that people are talking crazy, you'd think they'd be talking about some dude who's a psychopath. Maybe planning to murder someone. Or someone is just out of their fucking mind. I didn't think that he meant someone to be saying Fortnite is garbage and marshmallow music ain't bussin'. But here we are on a Cohen video, I guess. Okay, in what situation in real life does this shit happen? At this point, I don't even think that Cohen makes these situations believable anymore. I'm kind of convinced he's just trying to get the most cringeworthy content possible to get views. And don't get me wrong, it's clearly working right, but I can't even relate to this shit anymore. Rolling down in the I actually can't get over that fucking finger snap. Haha, uh -huh, I got an idea. Ah, oh, finger snap. I swear only the goofiest of goofy cartoon characters used to do that sh And here we have Cohen, who's clearly not real, doing it as well. sake, everyone's staring us down because we're the class clowns. I mean, at this point, it's getting really hard to defend you, Cohen. You're really just fucking asking for it at this point. I think I've seen this guy do at least eight different things that class him as being not real. The most recent one being that he stretched his fingers out like a goofball to try and snap them. Everyone comment down below right now whether you think this guy's real or he's just straight up an AI. Honestly, I've got good compelling reasons for both of them. Bruh. Bruh. Cohen, if you do that at a party, someone's gonna spin your fucking jaw back into place. God damn, on a real though, I know secretly deep down that I'd probably love this guy to be at parties that I go to. But sometimes clips like this make me question that heavily. Also, I don't think I can even ironically sit here and look at this alpha wolf shirt for any longer. If Cohen were to start making his own clothing brand with just wolf shirts, I'd probably buy them to be honest. Bop a booey. 
Bubba Booey. The T-pose goes crazy, bro. I can't even lie. If someone pulled up to a party and started doing the fucking T-pose from Fortnite, what other reaction should you have other than to shower him with love and gratitude? Not only is he scaring away the birds from the area like a real scarecrow, he's also scaring away every woman within a six kilometer radius. If you see people vibe into a song, then go chuck them a woe and just get litty, trust. How many fucking views does this video have again? Two fucking million? All right, noted. This is one of the most famous people on TikTok right now, and this is the shit that he's doing. Look, a lot of people don't like Joe Biden, but can he slow old ass hurry up with banning this whole TikTok thing I keep hearing about? I feel like a lot of these wars we're having would probably end if that would just happen. Hey, yeah, this party is bussin'. Shush. Well, it's clear that this guy has more friends than all of us. And Monk Army, I think I might be one of those friends. Because finally after waiting, it turns out that me, Cohen Lil, has actually made the video. I actually can't wait for this shit, bro, and I know you guys can't either. So without waiting any longer, this is what $20 gets you on Cameo. So let's see what Cohen has to say. Hey, Monk. Just thought I'd let you know I'm gonna perform skibbity riz on your girl. Um, no the fuck you're not, buddy. I don't know who you think you are, Chan, but if you think for one second that those dance moves are enough to riz up, then that's on you, buddy. I hate to break it to you, but you just don't have a long enough mewing streak to compete with me. Get the fuck out of here. I have a mewing streak longer than the time you've gone without a haircut. Cohen, you're walking on thin ice here, buddy. Don't make me roast you too hard now. Also, just thought I'd let you know that Pyramids and Becco make far better TikToks than your stupid reactions. No one even likes your videos anyway. Your fans are like seven years old. All right, cockhead, you've crossed the fucking line now. It was one thing to say that you're gonna perform skibbity riz on my girl. It was even worse that you said you have a longer mewing streak than me. But ain't no fucking way you're gonna say that Kai and Minz and Vioko, the two fuckheads that are TikTok's weakest gym influencers, make better content than me. I mean, I would fire back and say that I make better videos than you, Cohen, but clearly just by watching this, you can tell that that would be a stupid statement to make. And even worse than that, don't think I forgot, bro, but this guy even had the audacity to roast the monk army in the process saying that you guys are all seven-year-olds everyone comment monk army under this video right now there's no fucking way i'm gonna stand for that shit i'll be hiding everyone's comments that puts monk army in the comments right now furthermore you're literally just a stupid riff and a vashemi clone get the fuck out of here dickhead cohen i've made plenty of videos saying that i like you but i think you've gone a little too far here i like riff and vashemi i've spoken to them both but fucking hell to everyone saying that i'm a riff or vashemi clone you're actually Fucking stupid. I don't see Rith or Veshremi making Kaya Mints or Cohen videos. Monk, I hear that you're looking for a wild party animal to feature at your one year Gooning Streak celebration. So, if you want an absolute lit homeboy to show up and make everyone's day, I'm your guy. Post. Holy shit, my life is complete. Guys, I've actually been offered the deal of a lifetime. God damn, Cohen, I don't think I could have asked for anyone better to lighten up the party mood at my one-year gooning streak celebration. Cohen, trust me when I say this, we're gonna have all the fairy bread in the world and I'll be playing funk music all night. Whatever details you need, bro, just hit me up on Instagram, at monk10 with 3Ks. Anyways, Cohen, my life is complete, so I'm gonna leave it there. Click the video on screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it. I'll see you all over there. Subscribe.